please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon now i will teach you the properties of subtraction okay so are you ready so the next one is properties of subtraction okay so properties of subtraction will be opposite of what we have learned in the properties of addition the very first property of subtraction says it is applicable when the first symbol is less than the second symbol okay so which is totally contradicting the property of addition okay then the second point says repetition not applicable in subtraction okay so now this is something opposite that we have learnt in addition when the first symbol is less than the second symbol for example if i write i and v okay so we know that i comes first and v comes second so this will be read as i is equals to 1 and v is equals to 5 so my first symbol is lesser than the second symbol so which means that i will be doing a subtraction so here it will become as 5 minus 1 equals to 4 so iv represents 4 okay similarly if i were to write l so can you tell me what is the value of xl we know that if we arrange in the order x comes before l right so the value of x is 10 the value of l is 50 so we know that as per the rules if the first symbol is lesser than the second symbol we need to do a minus right so 50 minus 10 equals to 40 so which means that the value of xl is equal to 40 okay coming to the next one if i write x c can you identify the number we know that x means what 10 and c means 100 so the smaller symbol is before the larger symbol so the answer will be 100 minus 10 equals to 90 so the value of x c is 90 okay shall i give you one more the next one is x c i so is it possible for us to find the value children x is 10 c is 100 and i is 1 so what will i do here so here it is a combination of addition and a subtraction the first part we will be subtracting and the second part we will be adding because we have seen that if the value of the first number is greater than the second one we need to add here and c is greater than i right so which will be 100 minus 10 is how much 90 and then here it is plus 1 so it is 91 clear so are you clear with the rules fraction children so now i am going to give you sums which gives you a mixture of both addition and subtraction 